All right, Coach, if you don't mind just opening up with a uh, statement and recapping the game, and then we'll have questions for you. Sure. Uh, tough one for everyone involved with our program uh, to lose. Uh, at the least, you can say there was a clear-cut winner uh, today, so kudos to Arkansas. And then for us, the, the challenge has already started. I mean, the guys are showering up as soon as they got different clothes on. Um, you know, our program, along with 64 other or 63 other lucky ones, um, you know, need to start getting ready for next weekend. So I appreciate all the Vol fans that came out. Um, I know they were louder at the end. I, I don't know who had more representatives, but it really doesn't matter. It made for an incredible environment for everybody that was here, the players, TV. So I appreciate all those people that made that drive. And I hope – I know we didn't do what – fans wanted us to do but those that came down this morning appreciate that and my mom and dad even surprised me so uh that that was huge and appreciate all the parents of our guys riding that thing out my my mom's a sweetheart and she's everybody's favorite when she's out and about uh probably because she didn't wash their mouse out with soap uh like i got and then uh you know anyone who knows my dad knows he's an og so i appreciate them as well as all the other parents sticking with our guys it's it's my opinion but I think baseball parents spend more money and more time uh, being around, and hopefully no one hates me for saying that. I don't. That's the sport I coach, but it sure seems like that's the case. So um, certainly a lot of appreciation from that end. That's what I got. All right, thank you very much, Coach. First question comes from Wes. Yeah, Tony, just can, can you get a sense of the, the mood for the guys right now? I mean, obviously, tough one to, to lose today, but with, with so much kind of out there going forward, I would imagine maybe the turnaround could be pretty quick. Yeah, I wanted the quick turnaround. I don't think they did. Um, I, I think they were in love with the environment today, uh, the opportunity to do something. Uh, you saw the way they played. Um, I mean, if there's ever a situation for your team to quit, it's with the Golden Spikes Award winner on the mound. Uh, and a pretty sizable lead. And uh, we got guys trying to backpick on their own, uh, you know, quality at bats against a guy, uh, you know, who's been tough on everybody all year long. So they, they were still wrapped up emotionally in that game. Uh, unfortunately, in my position, I got <laughs> I got to hide mine and y you want a quick turnaround. So I think it'll take a bus ride for our guys to soak up the whole deal, you know, somewhere around, you know, the good city of Chattanooga, they'll start maybe laughing or saying the things that uh, they, they really enjoyed what happened here. And, uh, you know, the bitterness of the loss won't go away. But these guys have kind of shown after a Saturday loss and we go into a Sunday or after a game one tourney loss, uh, they, they seem to get motivation from stuff like that. So, again, maybe they can relax and be kids on the back half of that trip and, and then start to slowly build some motivation for tomorrow. And, and we'll see – you know, where we're at and who we got. Um, but really, it's going to be all about just preparing for Friday, kind of like it would be on a normal week when we don't have a midweek game. Mike is next. Yeah, Tony, was there anything new that you learned about this team in its first experience playing five games in five days? And you, you referenced the players maybe having some, some happy moments around Chattanooga, thinking back on the, the highlights of this. What were the highlights for you? Um getting to be around our guys uh, each day. You, you don't know when it's going to go away. Um, you know, I, I know that's kind of true in life, but it, you start getting into May, no matter what program it is across the country, uh, you, your days may end. Even if you win the national championship, it's going to be over. And this is kind of that group, staff, players included, you all just want to hang out as often as possible. So we got extra days to do that. Um, but more importantly, we got to see what we could do against, I mean, guys like Sims, Cops again, I could say a bunch of other names, and, and then compete against a Florida team that was on a pretty dang good run uh, with what they've done and what they're capable of. Um, I, I could go on and on. So there's an assortment of things that will help us for next weekend and, and the program beyond. And, and the number one thing was today. I mean, today's different. I, I told them, I warned them. I said, I'm going to try and keep my heart rate normal during that anthem. Uh, but you're going to want to run through a brick wall. And then that flyover happens that I forgot about. And, and you need to learn to deal with that stuff. And uh, you can certainly do it well the first go around, but it's kind of a safe bet in Vegas. You'll be a little bit better the second go around when you handle that stuff. So individually, our kids have been great. I mean, Christian Scott, we knew he could do that stuff. Booker, we knew. Maybe on the pitching side of things, you got a little bit of lesson learned there. Um, my man Mabry, he can handle anything. He's a tough kid, so we can use him in the postseason. And Jason Rackers, you know, it's it's been a grind 
uh, you know, just with the fluctuations of how his career has gone with us. It hasn't been ideal, but it could go out on a sweet note because he certainly showed uh, he can pitch well, uh, you know, on a big stage. Trey is next. Hey, Tony, it was just announced that Camden Sewell, Connor Pavoloni, Luke Lipsius, and Mac Ferguson were all on the um, all-tournament team. What did you see out of those four guys this week? Second part of that question, too, the environment you saw today in Hoover, how much are you looking forward to that next weekend at home at the regional, and how does that play a factor? Sure. No, apologies to Camden, and then we kind of held the ceremony up there. Commissioner Sankey's waiting for his trophy, and, you know, he wasn't happy, so he darted up the tunnel. He's already in flats um, and was going to shower up, so we had to bring him back out there. But, you know, it was cool to see those four guys get some individual recognition. Um, I think a couple of those guys maybe had some hits uh, after their teammates wore down the pitcher a little bit. So, you know, it, it's kind of a group effort with these guys at all times. But, you know, it's nice that some guys got tapped on the shoulder. I think really what it means is Luke is, is playing his best ball. Um, he's, he's really a dangerous hitter, always has been, but he's, he's kind of himself right now. And I think it's appreciation for what Pav does. I mean, as a leader, as a catcher, offensively. Uh, and then Camden Sewell, you know, was like Billy Chapel yesterday. So, all in all, it was good. And, and I, you know, I leave out Fergie, but the guy's a winner. He's just a winner. Uh, it's, it's what he is. Doesn't matter if he's putting up stats or not. He's a winner. So fortunate to have him around. And then, yeah, it, 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 it kind of whets the appetite a little bit for what can come next weekend. Um, but it'll be different. It's different when you're at home. And the good thing is, again, our guys have got a taste of it. Um, against a couple conference opponents and what Lindsey Nelson Stadium can be like. Uh, but I think it'll be even bigger. Um, you know, people be tailgating. They'll add some seats. And uh, it, it's why you fight all year long for, uh, you know, home field advantage. I mean, the great, you know, there, there, there's, there's a number they put up on the, um, you know, network that I was going to refer to. But bottom line is if you can win 15 games in this league, it is a hell of a year. If you can win 17, you're going to play at home like we will next weekend, I believe. Got time hey, Tony, real quick, questions. I'd be remiss. Yeah, go ahead. We've got time for two more questions. Go ahead. Tony, do you feel like you, you guys deserve to be, and I don't know how you're going to answer this, but do you think you deserve to be the number two national seed uh, coming out of this week? And who? Well, I, I think the guys feel like, um, you know, that we did lose another conference series, um, but the guys feel like this is the best team in the country. They're, they're, they would have been the number one national seed and if, even if they wouldn't have done anything here. Um, so it's kind of what you measure yourself up against. It's why recruits say yes to the SEC is they want to see how they stack up against the best in the country. And our guys, there's no secrets. Now, there's obviously other great teams out there, and, and everybody's a threat when you get to – you know, March for basketball and in this month for, for baseball bleeding into June. Uh, but, but I think you call it a ruler if you want, whatever measuring stick you need, that they have exactly what, you know, they needed. So um, it, it'll be from here on out. It'll be preparation, hopefully, that pays off for us. Ben is next. Yeah, Tony, are you, are you kind of happy with how the week went in terms of not overtaxing guys going into regionals? I know today was kind of your first Johnny Holstaff game, but uh, in, in general, are you pleased with, with where kind of the arms stand going into the next weekend? Yeah, I mean, 60 was the, the ish number with Will. Uh, happy we got some guys some reps. Um, so I, I just uh, feel, you know, Sean, I wouldn't be, I don't know if I'd have a job if it wasn't for Hunley. Um, so I just kind of feel bad about that situation not working out the way it did. In, in, in essence, trying to guard him or protect him a little bit actually ended up kind of putting him in a situation that, that he would have been better off, you know, maybe if we'd managed that situation a little bit. So call that the one regret, if you will. But, you know, we kind of had a vision for what we wanted to do, and a lot of it worked out. And also a lot of things come, came to the forefront of, okay, there are no question marks if – this guy does this, if this guy starts, if we bring this guy in, can he do it? Um, can you come out of a difficult situation, um, you know, in a regional? Those questions were answered a bit. I'm sorry, guys. We've got to get the coach out of here, get the players up. Coach, thank you for your time. All right. Appreciate y'all.